Hey guys, Jose Duarte here. So what we're gonna be talking about today is how long training will be after basic training. Now we all know basic training, the Marine Corps is 13 weeks long, but what I'm gonna be focused on today is how long the training will be for those who choose that non-infantry route. The reason why I want to specifically focus on that is because I chose that route and I don't know anybody who went through that infantry route, so I'm not gonna speak about that topic. I'm gonna only speak about what I know and focus on what I went through and share that experience with you. Now, for those who are going through the non-infantry route, you're going to go through MCT, and after MCT, you're going to go through your schoolhouse training. Now, before we get started, please give this video a like. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Share this video out there for those who are interested on in joining the military. Let's get started. So, after your 10 day leave, you're going to go through MCT, Marine Combat Training. Usually, that training is 28 days long. Uh, so, we say it's about a month. Once you report to MCT, if you're on the west side, you're going to go to Camp Pendleton. That's where MCT training is going to be. East side, I don't know. I'll drop down some links to kind of give you guys some information on where, that, where that's going to be, where that's going to take place. So where I went, I went to MCT in Camp Pendleton. How my experience went there, uh, my first day there, you're going to go through uh, kind of like a receiving kind of week. What I do want to share with you that I didn't know is if you are a reservist like me, you are going to have top priority over the active duty people. What I will tell you is that an MCT, you there might be a chance where you might be placed in the holding platoon. If you're a reservist, you're gonna have top priority. Uh, that's what I like because you know I just wanted to get out of there, finish the training quick. When I joined, I thought I was gonna be able to throw grenades. I was gonna be Talk, how to clear rooms all of that was gone when i joined but it was fun like you get you do get taught a lot of stuff like how to shoot how to dig foxholes how to sleep in the field um it was a pretty fun experience what i would say is get used to hiking the hikes itself were harder than boot camp i'm gonna say that the training wise i mean it depends on the company you're in but it was mostly kickback i mean you had to like figure out stuff on your own. They're gonna teach you how to do stuff, but it's mostly like, mostly what you learn and you're gonna put it out there. So after BMCT, you're going to go to your MOS school. MOS school for motor transport is going to be in Fort Leonard Missouri. That's where the motor transport trains, that's where the military police train, uh, Seaburn, engineers, that's where all of those uh, MOSs go to train. How long the training is going to be for motor transport? It's around 33 to 35 training days. Now, I'm going to be specific about training days here because it's something that, you know, nobody told me when I joined. Training days means the day you get picked up. Second is does not include weekends and it does not include holidays. So training days is the training, the training days you actually train. Um, once you go to your schoolhouse and I get to that receiving week and it's actually like a week long, that is not included in the training days. Training, receiving week is just like in boot camp. You're gonna get there. They're gonna gather up all your information. You're gonna receive classes. You're gonna receive the rules that that base has because it's an army base, but that does, have like Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, Army. They are trained right there. So they're gonna tell you about the rules there. When I got there, I had one week of receiving. After that, you get picked up either by a holding platoon or you actually get picked up. I went to the holding, holding platoon for one day. Right after that, uh, the next day I got picked up. After I get picked up, there was a bunch of guys that were there that were in the holding platoon for two to three months i mean it does happen 
So just be prepared, you know, if you're married, just like I was, just have that, talk to your wife, talk to your girlfriend, whatever. Just explain to them like, hey, like if once I head out to MCT or once I head out to an MOS school, there's gonna be a chance that I could be hold and it's gonna take a while. So just be prepared. But if you're a reservist, you're always gonna have that priority. You could be picked up by the next class. But in total, when I joined, I joined boot camp in January and I graduated like MCT, MLMOS school, the whole training in July. So it was equivalent to six months worth of training. I mean, it could be longer, but it's not because of the training wise, it's mostly because of the holding. Uh, that's something that nobody talks about and that's probably new. Some things that I learned in Missouri, shoot, it gets really humid out there in the summer. If you're in the West Coast, like it's not like here, it's right here, the weather in Las Vegas is dry. I mean, if it's hot, you can go in the shade and then you'll cool down. Over there, no matter if you're in the sun, if you're in the shade, it's gonna be humid. Just be prepared. I mean, drink a lot of water. You're gonna be sweating a lot. It's really bad in the summertime. In the winter, I've heard that it, gets, it snows out there. I mean, when I was there, it would rain a lot as well in the summer. It would rain a lot. And then after that, it would get really humid. That's what sucked. I got picked up in May and I graduated in July. So those were the summer days. I mean, it freaking sucked. Uh, I did not wish to go back anymore. Like, screw that. I'm actually glad I'm here. Um, some people liked it. I mean, I guess people who live there liked it, but I mean, but it was still a fun experience. I mean, MOS school is more kicked back. Um, it's really chill. You get to like hang out with your friends. It's not like MCT or boot camp, especially not boot camp. It's not like MCT. In MCT, you're gonna be like training a lot. You're gonna be in the field a lot. Um, there's, they're a little bit strict in MCT, but nothing like boot camp. Once you're in a schoolhouse, it's more laid back. It's you're focused only on like your MOS training. After that, you go to your barracks. Uh, you get to change over and you get to hang out you get to go to you get to go to like burger king or popeyes or to the px the main px not like the boot camp or mct so it's more fun uh there's also stuff you can do on the weekends you could like hike around you go to the river Go to the movies there's also parks out there there's bowling there's a big gym i mean it's pretty fun but what i will say is once you're in the mos school like don't pig out don't do what i did the chow hall food there is pretty nasty i'm, I'm gonna admit it. like sometimes it was good but most of the time it was it was all right so i mean what i would do is i would order fast food every time i mean also the last chow that you get after training is around like 3 to 4 p.m you get hungry around 8 p.m at night so it's like come on like you're not gonna even starve yourself but what i will say is i mean be smart about it don't pig out that's where like marines gain the most weight because they're eating out all the time or at least get to like work out, go to the gym, run out, run outside, you know? So in conclusion, I mean, after boot camp, you get a 10 day leave, you get to report in MCT. MCT is 28 days long, uh, schoolhouse training. Does not include receiving week, does not include weekends or holidays. It only counts the training days that you get trained. And after that, you get sent out to your fleet or you get sent back home if you're reservist. I'm going to make another video of what you should take to MCT. That's gonna be later on in the future. I know there was like a lot of questions I had to what as to what I should bring to MCT. I'm gonna make another video about that in the near future. 
Um, so stay tuned. If this video was helpful. Please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel. And as always, keep moving forward, keep your faith up, and stay motivated.